And you was gonna lead us to the promised land. Once again, I'm screaming at my notebook through a ballpoint pen. In a dilapidated flat somewhere in the East Village of Sector 4 187, previously known in the free world as the state of North Carolina. Monthly, I risk freedom to trade 300 debit chips for my government controlled living quarters. That's proceeding daily to break me down in quarters. 25% gets high, 25% hides, and 25% cries for the other 25% who just died in prison doing a 6 to 9 for the crime of paying rent. My hustle consists of stealing computer parts to barter contraband for future age drug pushers. The year is just a couple from now and the pressure cooker is about to explode. Everyone believes for the most part, the infected part, that our new and improved belief state is a collective sign of human empowerment of good over evil. But word in the street tells of another scenario. One more suited for the existence of a poor street dweller who now finds himself arch enemy of this newfound pro pistol popping political propaganda. But you won't hear this on your stereo. We want Tell me something. How can we as a people watch our ass 24 hours a day from police brutality when all of our time is spent watching our ass anyway? This is confusion. I've gotten so paranoid I copped the throwaway just to check the mailbox. Which, by the way, carries an automatic stoning if seized by the proper authority. The madness of the future has inflated my weakness to title. I am an addict. Straight to the point. No needles go. That point I can't make. Today, I'm lucky. The traveling junkie supply service just sent messages telling me to lotion my feet. The tigers are making house calls. <sighs> the sound of freedom. I teleport to the peephole to make sure there's no 911 emergency follow up house calls. I can't trust my elderly neighbors since the raid on my humble matchbox last month. Anyway, pre morning gibberish is the arrival of Gary Coldblood and his unannounced pincushion sidekick Judy Rottenvein. It's funny, their ring of the bell is always the loudest and most distracting in my wily coyote freefall. Every time I jump off the cliffs on my shoulders and come to, their ghost and my savings is spent like any chance of rehab finding Miss Pincushion knocking at their door for the 7 a.m. support rally. Babbling into the broken cocaine mirror, hanging crooked in my sh can has become a bad habit. I don't see my face anymore. The reflection is too mangled and distant. Around you. 